I'm going to turn on this light bulb. What's this light bulb connected to? Who has an idea? Talk about where the electricity is coming from to turn on this light bulb. Yeah. All right, but what, what's the first step? Where do, what do we need to do? What do we need to do with this side of this? Plug it into the wall. All right, so do you want to come up and be our outlet? And actually, Brian, if you could come help. You are the outlet in the wall. If you could hold that sign and hold this way close to Abby, hold that little cord here. And we are going to plug this into the wall here. And actually, yeah, you can go ahead and plug it. Let's see, our light didn't turn on though. It didn't turn on though, and that's because the electricity doesn't just come from the wall, right? Is, our, is all our electricity just kept in our wall? No. No? Where does it come from before it's in the wall? Yeah, back here. And That's a good guess, but it comes from somewhere right outside the wall. Who has an idea of where it comes from? The telephone poles. Yeah, the telephone poles. Telephone poles have certain kinds of wire up there to connect telephones. But you're close. What would it be instead of telephone wires? <laughs> Who, does anyone have an idea what those are called? I, I'll know that you have a good answer if you're nice and quiet. Okay, so the light switch, this one, we're, we're actually going to just connect to the wall. It doesn't need a light switch. That's a good, good question. We're really close with the telephone lines. What do we have instead? Wires. Wires. Yep. What kind? What are they called, those wires that we see outside? Yep. Electric wires. Electric wires or power lines. All right, yeah, do you want to come up and be the power line? <gasps> so, this, these are the power lines, right? So you can hold this that represents the power lines coming out of the wall. I'm going to plug you into the wall, too. Out of the wall, into the power lines. There we go. So we've got our light bulb that's plugged into the wall, and that wall is connected out to the power lines, right, that are running outside. But where do those power lines then, where do those power lines go to get the electricity into the power lines? Yeah. Do those the Lightning? That's a good idea. Lightning does come down from the sky, but where do these power lines go? Does anyone, who knows where these power lines go? Yeah. In the street. In the what? Yeah, they're going through the streets, but where do they all go back to? The, um, the electric company. Yeah, the electric companies that have what we call power plants. Oh. So if you want to come up and be the power plants, how many of you guys have seen power plants before? Yeah, what do they look like? Who can describe to me a little bit of what power plants look like? Yeah. I have a power plant and a power plant. That's one example of a power plant. What do they look like when you see when you see a power plant, and we're talking about electric power plants, but what, is, what does a power plant look like? Yeah. And it just has a big metal thing and there's wires. And metal things and wires, yeah. And they, um, they sometimes they're on top of buildings. Sometimes they're tall buildings on there. Yeah, they have, and they have the silver and metal thing, like, very high. There you go, okay, yeah. Other things about them? And, and they like, have the wire circles that you use Lots of wires. Yeah, lots of wires. What else do you see when you drive by a power plant? Yeah. There's some by the Mississippi River. All right, you've seen some by the Mississippi River. I've seen one behind a movie theater. All right, so you've definitely There's seen them around. The and what does it look like when you drive by them? Yeah, any other thoughts about them? Uh, it looks like a big thing. Yeah, it's definitely a big thing. Yeah, Luca, other thoughts about them? It looks kind of like a little stationary, and it has like I don't know, fence over it, and it has a, and it has like a wire and all kinds of wires attached yeah. to it. And all so that. you guys have definitely seen these power plants, and sometimes when you see them, what's coming out of them? You see what's coming out of them? Yeah, smoke, smoke, lots of smoke, right? And so we say that the power plants. This is where all of this electricity is being made, and then it's being sent in the power lines all the way to our wall, all the way to the light bulb. And while it's making all that electricity, it's putting out tons and tons of smoke, right? Lots of what we call pollution. Who's heard of the word pollution before? Yeah, we call it pollution because it comes out into our air. And what do you guys do when there's lots of, let's say there are lots of smoke in this room, what would it make you do? You guys, yeah. Choke or cough. Like, we don't like having lots of smoke around us, right? 
So, po so power plants create a lot of smoke, so it, that's what we call pollution. It can be something that is making our air not quite as clean. But I have a question for you. How does the power plant make electricity? Does it just, does it just have electricity in it? No. No? no. <laughs> how is it, is this because right now our light bulb's still not on. How, how are we going to get this power plant to make electricity? Yeah, what's your guess? Say it again. There's a poles there that are working. Yes, yeah, so there's probably machines, but what what are they using? Yes, yeah, question. Um, they're going into the earth and collecting energy. Collecting energy. Okay, but what are they using to collect? Well, like, what's what does that look like? What are they? What's the fuel that they're using to make this electricity? Oil. Oil is a great example. And if you want to come up, basically our power plants are using fuel. Oh, sorry. I didn't see are using fuel like coal or gasoline or oil to be able to make all of these machines work, <laughs> make all of these machines work, which then allows us to put energy into the power lines, the electricity travels all the way into our wall and all the way up into our light. So we have our whole step-by-step -step system here, but our light's still not on because there's one last step here. And I'm going to squeeze right by you guys. I might squeeze back a little bit. Who knows where we get these these fuel, this fuel like coal or gasoline? Who knows where we get this? Yeah. From the earth? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Why couldn't we just hold that? See? <laughs> that looks a little big to hold. Alright, so everyone, I want to take a look at this. Who knows, who has an idea of where we get this coal and gasoline? That you just turn it on by turning it. Look at this. I want you guys to all look. Now that we have our line here all connected, we have our earth that we get our coal from, which we take to a power plant, and we burn it to make energy and electricity that goes into a power line, which goes all the way into our wall and comes out and it lights up our light bulb. Well, how do we get the coal and the gasoline out of the earth? Where is it coming from in the earth? At water. Sometimes it's underneath water. Yeah. The um, middle of the earth. Yeah, we usually dig for it. We usually get it it's from down It's a fire below. in the middle. There's there's a hot part of the earth in, inside the earth, but we usually get our coal or our gasoline from down inside the earth. Yeah, Luca. Um, oil diggers they dig for oil and find. Yeah, it there could be there could be oil rigs that go down and get that that kind of stuff. So I want you guys to look at this line here. Every time that we're using electricity, it's always coming from a line kind of like this. And sometimes we can have different kinds of power plants. And one thing we want to think about when we're doing this, anytime we're using electricity, we're using that those fuels at a power plant and it's creating lots of pollution. Like it's creating a lot of smoke and sometimes some of the pollution gets into our air and our water and it makes it that we have a less clean environment. And one of the things we think is really important <laughs> is to make sure that our environment's healthy and clean. So when we're thinking about using electricity, we want to be really careful to not waste it. For instance, if you're using a light to read in your room and you're going to leave the room, it's really important to turn off the light so that you're not using electricity that's going to create pollution when you don't need it. And it's okay to use electricity when you need it, but you don't want to waste it. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. The other thing is this earth that we're getting all of our, all of our electricity from, we share it with lots and lots and lots of people, not just the other people in this classroom, but other people in countries all over the world. And we want to make sure that we're taking care of it. So we're getting all of our energy from this earth. We need to share it with everyone else. No, the Exactly. You can just turn things off when you leave the room, that kind of thing. So we're going to talk tomorrow even more about other ways that we can be really good at not wasting energy. But what I want you guys to do right now is we're going to have you all get back with your group leaders in a second when I say move. And you guys are going to get a sheet of paper, and you're going to get to draw all of these steps, which we're going to leave on the board here. You're going to get to draw all of these steps of how you light up a light bulb. And once you have all of your steps drawn in, your group leader is going to let you color in the light bulb yellow, which will turn it on.